hello guys welcome to this video hello bite nation so i just decided that i'm going to call you guys bite nation like what do you think like i just thought it was like the most appropriate thing i just thought about it right now like it's better than biters it's better <laughs> bite nation okay <laughs> Uh, my name is Moyo and you're watching our student survival bite series that means that if you're a student like me and you want to learn how to survive in school you want to learn how to survive with food you should definitely be watching all these videos that said even if you're not a student these are still really nice really easy recipes that you can make for yourself for your family you can make for your friends you can just make do you understand um Thank you for being here. If you have not, we already have so many videos. I think we've done like six videos in this series, like mug cakes, popcorn, pizza, tomato sauce, bread, so many things. And guess what today's recipe is going to be, guys? It's a pasta. We're making spaghetti. And I'm going to show you how to make a really simple one pot recipe for, it's, it's not really jello spaghetti, but it's like spaghetti with like lots of vegetables. You can add meat, you can add but any vegetable that you like but it's a really nice really lovely spicy spaghetti recipe so i hope you enjoy watching this please like it if you did like watching this video share it with your friends comment down below letting me know what you think and i hope you enjoy watching me make this recipe guys thank you so much for watching bye our ingredients are about 200 grams of whole wheat spaghetti that's like a or like half a handful rather then about half an onion two tomatoes 50 grams of sweet corn about and about 50 grams of sweet peas that's also about a handful each two tablespoons of oil and then your seasoning so here i'm using a stock cube a pinch of salt some chili flakes and some black pepper you can also add like ginger garlic and other spices if you'd like so heat up your oil in a warm pan and then add in your onions you can see i didn't really cut my onions finely here but you know then when your onions are nice and translucent, translucent and turning brown, add in your tomatoes and cook them down. It's fine if they're nice and chunky, that's also part of the flavor of this spaghetti and the texture. Then add in all your um, seasonings and cook your tomatoes down. After your tomatoes have been cooked nicely, then add in enough water to cook your spaghetti. After you've added this water, you can then add your spaghetti. Here, I broke my spaghetti into two just to make it easier for me to cook. If you like really long spaghetti, then do not break it apart. When you have about 5 minutes left until your spaghetti is done, add in your sweet corn and green peas. As you can see here, I'm using frozen. You can use the canned versions or the fresh versions. Obviously, if you're using the fresh versions, you need to start cooking it when you're cooking your tomatoes. So after about 5 minutes, our spaghetti is done, guys. It's a really nice and really simple recipe. I really think that the stock cube really gives it some extra flavor. You could also add chicken or beef stock or vegetable stock by yourself. You could add some meat, you could add fish, you could add whatever you like, really. <laughs> As I always say, more vegetables like carrot, like bell peppers, like spring onions. Go crazy, okay? And enjoy this peaceful one-pot pasta recipe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you in my next video. Bye!